Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Well, this is the next guitar we're going to do on Mojo Shop Guitar. It's all black. Can't you hardly see it. It's all stealthy. It is missing a single coil pickup in there. That's the way we got it. This is one of those $40 Facebook finds. And, uh, you know, I liked it because it had a, has a nice straight neck on it. But it is an Estefan. And uh, you can see it behind that. <laughs> but it has the little funny looking E kind of a headstock on it. But I don't care what it's got on it. It's going to be a player when we get done with it. It's going to be a contender. It's going to have some mojo. And, you know, we're going to give it some love and give it what it has never, ever had. And we're going to get it playing better than it ever, ever, ever has. And then we're going to go take it to our swap meet here at the end, of, in the end of the week. And hopefully somebody will be able to take home a very inexpensive but very well-playing guitar. So without further ado, let's get this thing over to the bench and make that mojo happen. All right, we're with the bench with this beauty here. Now... It might not look like much right now. And, you know, this is the kind of guitar that, you know, nobody's going to take a second look at. They're going to you know, it's, you know, you know the, the controls are hanging out of it and stuff. You know, it's, it's seen better days. But, you know, I've seen a diamond in the rough here. You know, it's got a nice, nice little fretboard on it. And, it's, you know, it's got some, you know, it's decent looking. And I think, in my personal opinion, that this could make a nice little, it's telling me it's a, you know, it's like a dark, scary guitar, you know what I mean? We might do something with this. I'm kind of thinking that I might do something with this disappearing, or this uh, color changing um, carbon fiber stuff that I got here might do something with that on it but I don't know yet because we got to get it taken apart we got to get this thing got the strings taken off of it we got to get the pit guard taken off of it we got to take we're gonna take the neck off of it you get the tuners off of it. we got to get this thing completely tore apart so um tell you what that's what we're gonna do we're gonna disassemble so we'll be right back after we disassemble this all right, we got this thing all stripped down. And you can see it's got a lot of compound in it, a lot of rubbing compound in it. And it's just seen better days. And it is black. We're gonna have to work a miracle or two with this one here. We got that all tore down. We're gonna go clean that up. Got the uh, neck all taken apart here. The you know, neck's looking pretty good. You know, except for this funny looking headstock on it, but you know, we're not gonna. We're not gonna judge it, you know. Just because it's got a, you know, ooh, it's got a distinctive. Look, it's like a W or something. It's an E. But anyway, we're gonna, um, we're gonna make it. E E is gonna stand for excellent playing when we get done with it. So, uh, I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna get something to clean this up with, and uh, we'll see what we can do about getting this uh, polished up a little bit. See what we can do with it. All right, be right back. Well, here we are with the body. I think we got it looking pretty good. I didn't buff it or nothing. We just went over and wiped it down, rubbed it with a with a dry, clean towel. Gave it a good, you know, give it a good rubbing. Give it a good washing. You know, go over it with the rag a little bit, rub some spots. Get it nice and clean. Get all the schmutz off of it. Now it's got a few little scuffs right here on the thing here. Might be able to do something with that, might not. But uh, yeah, it turned out real nice. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, I think, is we're going to get to this um, pit guard. Let's set that body down there. Get this pit guard out, Let's see what's going on with that, get it all straight. As you can see, <clears throat> we're missing a pickup here. 
we'll just sort of flip this over and see what we got here. You know, we got some really, really, really cheap um, pickups in here. There's a little dime pots and stuff. They're really not too much to it, you know. But um, we got a few tricks up our sleeve, so we're going to do some stuff with this one here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take this apart. And we get it all down to just the, the pit guard because I think we might do something with the pit guard. We're going to do something with something. we got to do something. So um, uh, we're going to take this apart and we'll be right back when we get that done. Well, we are back. And we did something special with the pit guard. It's not black anymore. It is color changing. Graphite or uh, um, uh, carbon fiber. Color changing carbon fiber. Look at how that changes color. It's going to be cool. And guess what else we did? We did the headstock too. So this challenge. Color change. Ooh. Looky there. It's purple. That's green. Purple and green. And purple and green. It's cool as hell. Right. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this pit guard back together. Everything all cleaned up real nice. I'm gonna clean up our mess around here. Uh, cutting and trimming. This right here is just some uh, auto wrap. Auto wrap. Had a little bit of it left. So we we'll to get the pit guard and the headstock with it's really easy to trim up and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put all the uh, components back in here. We got everything all cleaned up and everything real nice. The pots were kind of sticky and stuff, but we got those cleaned up. And we're going to go ahead and install everything back in there and get this, start putting this thing back together so we can see what she looks like. So we'll be right back when we get the pit guard back together. Well, we're back and look what we did. We got this pit guard all set up. Look at that sucker. That's going to be bad. <laughs> Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Looking real good. We got the back of it all tucked up, tightened up, looking good. Everything is G right. And now I think it's about time we've tried to maybe put it on this body here. Get these things kind of straight. <clears throat> There's the body right there. Now I know we got to stuff these wires through here. So that goes here. Um, output jack. And then this will go through here. Go down there to the whammy bar. See how that sucker sits on there. Why won't that wire go through there? Oh well. Here we are, we got it all taken care of. Now don't that look sweet? Look at that, look at that. That just transformed it. That is awesome. Okay, now that we got that all put back together, stuff like that, we still got some other work to do. So we are going to go ahead and get this all trimmed up and everything. All right, so we're gonna get the start on the neck. We'll be right back. All righty, we're back. We're starting this neck here. I know we do it next. We're gonna go over it, we're gonna level it. Crown it, do the fret ends, roll the edge, buff it, pass the frets. We're gonna do all kinds of good stuff to this thing. Let's see if it's level. Let's at least see if it's level. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to find what I'm looking for. I'll be back. All right, folks. Well, we're back. And we had a small problem with the uh, with the neck here. See, the neck had a back bow in it, you know. We, so we had to, you know, like I've been running into a lot of necks with back bows in them. And, you know, we got to go put them in the vise. And we got to put, you know put them in the jig and get them so that they have a, you know, they're like this, not like that, you know. So, uh, we got this one straight. When we first got it, when we first got it, we had a, you know, it was rocking. 
now it's nice and flat so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, tighten up this truss rod just a little bit to get it where it needs to be I think. this is the one right here I think yep okay so we're gonna get out our feeler gauge which is <clears throat> around here someplace I throw it back in there Yes, I did. It's right here. Okay, so we're just going to tighten this up just a little bit, just a hair. Let's see what it does. So we're still a little bit low in the middle here. But we're good. So we're just going to tighten it up a little bit. And that way we can bring it back up to where it should be. Now that's just about right. Probably just about right, right there. Coming up on it, and you know we had to loosen this truss rod up quite a bit so that we, before we put it in the in the vise. And see, we'll just bring kind of bring that right back real slow, easy like. quite a bit before it's going to grab. I don't know. Something's not kosher in Denmark here. Let's take a look at this truss rod hand here. I don't think we're doing nothing. We will get to the bottom of it though. We always do. Oh, yeah, we're trying to get a little tightness. All right, we're trying to get a little tightness. Let's see what we're doing now. That's just about there. Yeah. Just about. Just about. Right there's probably gonna get it right where it needs to be. Yep, perfect. Right there. That's where she needs to be, right there. Okay. So we got this thing all leveled up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our big black marker. And what we're gonna do here, we're gonna slide this back so you can see. <laughs> we're gonna take our marker and we're gonna just put a line on top of each one of these frets here just like that and then we're going to take our leveling beam right over here it's just got a little bit of sandpaper on the bottom it's not much but we don't need a lot and we're going to take and we're going to run this over here until we take all this black marker off And that way we'll we will have leveled the the, beam, the the fretboard up. So when we get it all leveled, we'll be back. All right, we're back here and we have done everything known to man to this fretboard. First of all, it had a bow on it, so we had to get that. So we had to go take it and put it in the jig, get it warm, you know, get it bent. And now it's got it. Now it's perfectly flat. We got it perfectly flat. We trusted the truss rod, so it's perfectly flat. We leveled it with the leveling beam. Then we crowned each fret. Then we did each one of the fret ends on each end on each side. Then we rolled the fretboard right here. Okay. And then we polished all the frets. We went over each one of the frets with with progressively smoother sandpaper right up until we hit 1500 then we went over and we polished them all up real nice so they're nice and shiny as you can see they're nice and shiny 
And the only thing that we have left to do is to um, give it a little bit of uh, coconut oil over it because we haven't we've cleaned it off with with rubbing alcohol real good. We've got all the schmutz, all the gook off it, everything. And um, now we're going to give it some coconut oil. But one of the last things I want to do is just kind of get in here with the toothbrush on these frets because I'm noticing there's still a little bit of stuff on them. So I want to get right in there and kind of get all these frets real good with the toothbrush. You know, it just kind of helps. I don't want to have any any debris, any any grease or dirt or anything like that that's caked down in there. That's a, you know, classic place for things to hide. Sometimes it's so, it'll be so bad that you got to take something in there and scrape it all out, you know. But this isn't too bad. It's just got a little bit of stuff. And we'll get up there a little bit. Anyway, um, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of our good old coconut oil. And, you know, some people don't agree with me using the coconut oil. And some people, you know, don't agree with what, some of the other things that I do. But, you know, I'm not trying to say that, that this is the way that you should do it. I'm just saying this is the way I do it. And I've been doing it like this for quite a while, and I have pretty good results with it. And I have, I, I think I have pretty good reasons for, you know, what I use. You know, like this coconut oil here, you know. Some people say you should use, like, some uh, lemon oil or something like that. And last time I checked, lemon oil is really thin. You know, it's real, it's, it's, a, it's a thin, you know. This stuff here is, is, is uh, you know, it's pretty much solid at room temperature, okay. And when it gets on my finger, it starts to melt. But I know for a fact this does not soak in as much as mineral, I mean, as uh, lemon oil or something like that would, okay. And I've heard all kinds of people say what you should use on a neck. And, and to me, this is just as right as anybody else's, whatever they think they, they should be putting on there, okay. So now we got that on there. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty shiny and hydrated. Now we're just going to take a rag. And we're going to wipe it off. And look, it is really, really <clears throat> soaking up the, uh, well, not soaking it up, but you know what I mean? It's, it's really liking having a little bit of hydration in it. And we're just getting the outside. We're not trying to soak this wood down. Because you know what happens. If you get this fretboard too wet, too full of oil, these frets are going to start loosening up and the wood's going to start to expand and the things that you don't want happening are going to start happening. Okay, So that's why we don't do that. That's why I don't do it. And I seem to be getting pretty good results just like this, you know. And see now I'm kind of giving this a rub with the rag, just trying to work a little bit, you know, just trying to smooth it out and, and kiss. The thing about this fretboard is it's supposed to be ultra smooth and easy to play. That's why we polish the frets. That's why we, you know, smooth out the wood so that it's, it's really smooth. That's why we do the roll the ends and do all the, do a lot of the things that we do because we want it to be smooth. We want people to have have really smooth playability. We want you to just go, oh wow, man, this thing's just like glass that you play. Okay, and now do you see how much better that looks? how much nicer that looks you know and it's still I think we're gonna give it one more little going over here but you know you see we got our, our headstock all taken care of then what we're gonna do here's what we're gonna we're gonna put all the tuning keys in here and stuff we're gonna put all the stuff in there get this all ready to go and then we'll give it one more um, we'll give it one more treatment of some coconut oil before we start, before we assemble it. So when we get done with that, we'll be back. You know the routine. All right, we're starting to get these tuners in there. <clears throat> and we got the nuts on them, but everything is still loose. So what we're doing is we're coming around the back here and uh, we're sort of hanging it off the edge of the board here because we're off the edge of the table because the uh, tuners will hit the table if we turn it upside down like this. This thing has got these little tiny screws in there. And basically what we're doing is we're getting that screw down here from this side. So that it's nice and tight. And then we'll go around and tighten up the front so that it's nice and tight. And I gotta use this little tiny screwdriver because they, they hit these things. They got some little tiny screws. Okay, that's tight right there. And when we when we tighten it back up here on the front, 
I'm gonna hold this so that we don't twist it when we're turning it. I don't want it to twist against that screw. And we're gonna get it down. Nice and tight. Not real, real tight. Not so tight you can't, you know. But you want it tight. And that's the first two, we got them in there. So, we're gonna go ahead and finish up getting everything on here and the string trees and everything on the front and then we'll be back. Alrighty, we got the headstock all taken care of. We got the um, string trees on there. Don't you just love how that changes color like that? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna give this one more treatment of some cooking out oil. Just a little bit on there. Nice and hydrated, probably. Put the strings on. Just put the strings on and stuff. We can't do the skin, so we're gonna do it one more time. Make sure everything's copacetic. And you know, some people might look at this and go, "Hey, he's crazy. That's a no-name guitar. He's putting a whole lot of work into it. You know, stuff like that." But that's just the whole thing. Is that I can take this kind of a underrated guitar, something that people wouldn't even, you know, blink twice at. I mean, I got this for 40 bucks on, on Marketplace. You know, nobody cared about this guitar. They thought it was just, you know, of course people don't know. But look at it now. You know, it's going to be a contender. And I'm taking these guitars and you know what they're they're basically they're they're inexpensive <laughs> great playing guitars. Look at that. Looks real nice and hydrated and shiny and smooth. Nice and smooth. The fret's nice and smooth. Bring your fingernail across there, you don't feel nothing nice and smooth. Head start looking good. All right, tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna get the area cleaned up here. We're gonna, you know, we gotta do that every once in a while. <laughs> and then we're gonna have us a little marriage, a little wedding ceremony. Hey, hey, hey. We're gonna hitch these two. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back and we are ready, like Freddy. And I think we're gonna have to uh, go like this here. We're gonna lay it down here for a second. We're just gonna make sure that this fits together right. Okay, I think we're gonna grab it from up top. There we go, okay. All right. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna stand it up. Make sure it's in the pocket good. Okay, let's... Make sure it's in that pocket good. Okay. We're gonna start putting some of these screws in here. Right. Some of these screws in there, you get these bottles, and I'm kind of pushing from both sides, you know, because I want it to stay together good. Okay. A little bit grip up tight top there. screwdriver. Good lord, these are hard to turn too. Uh, see, the harder it is to turn, the more chance I have of coming off that screwdriver, screw and scratching something. I don't want to do it. Uh, yeah, you can feel that tighten down. Alright. Get these top ones. Dude, I'm gonna need a break after this. Ugh. Dang. It's taking on my screwdriver and might. Go 
back one more time. Make sure we're all good. All right. And now we want to take a look at that gap there. See? Make sure that gap's the way it's supposed to. We look around this back side. Make sure that gap is looking good. It's all looking good. Look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we got us a guitar, don't we? Look at that. So shiny the camera. Don't even know what to do with it. Look at that. That's a beauty. All right, we're gonna lay this down right here, and we're gonna ooh, look at her there. I got a granddaughter to go take care of. She's fussing, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, well we're back, folks, and uh, <clears throat> well we had a little bit of trouble with this one here. We had to go through and do go back and do a few things to it and get it right. So we didn't really get all that on camera and nothing like that. But here it is, and it's all ready to go. It's looking beautiful. We had to get the, uh, we had to mess around with the back pickup back there to get it right. It wasn't, you know, as loud as the other ones when we started playing it. So we had to get over there and get it right. But to look at, it's, you know, it's, ooh, look at that. So the change is coming on you. Ooh. It's special. And you know, it really does sound good. I mean, it really does have a nice, you know, warm, warm tone to it, you know, it really does. You know, it's hard to tell like that, but she sure is looking good, sounding good, and playing good. Now, all we gotta do is I gotta go back over it and get all my old dirty fingerprints and stuff off like that, get it all shined up and stuff like that. And then we'll take it over and we'll give it a play. What do you say? Well, here we go, folks. This one's looking real good. Had my foot wrapped around the cable there. She's looking real good. Look at that color changing, man. And she is a player, too. Sounds like a Strat, but plays like a Les Paul. You know, it's got a real good, real nice sound to it. That's in the number five position. That's all uh, neck. Let's try number four. Plays nice. Well, this one's gonna go to a good home. And, uh, you know, ooh, somebody's gonna play it and get some good sounds out of it. So, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I'd like to thank everybody for, for subscribing. And, uh, you know, uh, keep on watching and keep on subscribing. We're gonna say adios for now. Mojo Shop Guitar. Bye bye.